Hello engineers, in this video we're going to do problem oops, problem 1-1-D and for this one I'm going to start off with the isometric view um, so find a middle point right here um, you should be using a pen so I'm going to use this pen so that it's easier to see on the video and for 1-1-D the front surface has two uh, squares on it. They're two by two squares, so that's what I'm going to start off with. So this square is going to look like that. So looking at the paper here, that's the square that I just drew for the isometric view for 1 1D. And I know that it has a depth of four, so one, two, three, four units. Just like that. And I'm looking at the isometric, and it looks like it has a line here as well. So we're going to go up to and then close that surface. There's a one unit gap between the two squares. So I'm going to put a dot here, dot here, go up to, over to, and I'm going to draw the other square. So that means that the length of the part is five units. And go ahead and draw those lines. And then from this corner in, I believe that's two units. And then there's a little square here. And then that's going to go over. All right, so let's draw that line here, this connecting line. This part's a little complicated because of all the extra surfaces that it has. So, and then it, it, this little square here, this little cube has its own surface. This is showing up nicely for you. Just like that. Draw this to the edge there. This head, there's a, the back edge is here. And then we're going to go up, let's see. So, it's, so the height, I think the height is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so it's one, two, three, four, five. So right here. So, so this, so from this corner, going to go up three. But the total height is five units. And from here we go up, there we go. Okay, now I'm starting to see it. So let me just put that there. So this little L shape right here is this shape right here. This rectangular surface is this surface here. So hopefully you're starting to see that pop out. And then this top surface is three. Units, three units. And then we're going to go down to draw the little square down to draw this square go down one from this corner and then close or connect this corner to this corner, put a dot right here, close that square. Ooh, it's getting a little bit smudgy with this pen. Um, there is a line here, so let's close that. There is a line here, so let's close that or connect that. And then we have a line here. And there he is. There's your isometric view for 
this problem. So I'm going to label this isometric. And now we take take this information and we turn it into a front side top view. So the front is is that surf these surfaces. So this square, this square, this square, this square, and this shape. So that's the front view. Okay, this is the side, and this is the top. Okay. So that's that's the order in which we're going to draw this. So from the bottom left-hand corner, I'll put my name here first before I forget. Bottom left-hand corner, we're going to go over three, up three. I'm going to put a dot, and this is a two by two square. So dot over two, up two, over two. And I'm going to draw that square. Let me know if the sound effects help. <laughs> okay, and now I look at the isometric. There's a one unit gap. So from the bottom, go over one and put the square dots. I like using the short ruler because they're easier to move around. Um, if you want one, I have plenty. Just ask for one and I'll get you one. Uh, there is, we don't see it on the isometric, but it's flat on the inside. So this, there's going to be a line here. That line there. Because we're looking at this edge, this, this surface here. And then we have these squares which are lined up here. And then it's one, two, three, four, five. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go from this edge, go in one, and then one, two, three, draw a line down, go to this side, draw a line down, close the top, and then I'm going to close these two little squares, tops. See that? So that's the that's the front face. So if I was gonna label it, so let's say this is A, here's A, B, here's B. Let's say this is C, this is C. So you can see how the surface is going down. You you just you can't see it here. Okay, and then the little squares. There's those little squares. And let's draw the side view. So put a four, five, six unit gap. And we know it's one, two, three, four units in length, or depth, not length, depth, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, I just gotta count and make sure. We know the height here is two, so we're gonna go up two. This, we're gonna see this rectangle, so let's just make that rectangle. Side, so this rectangle here. And then we're gonna also see this L shape. So that's going to look like that. So we're going to close off the edge here. I'm going to go down two and down one here. Just to see that L shape. So I'm going to, I'm going to label these now. So this A, B, C, let's say this is D. So we're going to see D here and this is E and that's E. Now, if you are thinking, oh, well, should there be some hidden line somewhere? Yeah. So if I connect, if I touch an arrow to the surface, you should say right away, oh, that's surface C. Surface C goes down. So align your ruler here. And we're going to put in hidden lines. Remember, you're like Superman, so you can see through the surfaces and you're going to see that hidden line that hidden line there represents the face the surface of C alright so now I'm going to speed run the top the top view so I know that the depth is 4 the uh, length is 5 so I'm going to line up my ruler here and 1 2 3 4 units 1 2 3 4 so the depth is 4, so that's why from here to here is 4. The length is 5. 
And I know that the squares up front are 2 and 2. I know that this length is going to, we're going to see that full line there. Just like so. And there, the surface here, we're going to see that as a small rectangle. Just like that. Top surface of these two squares, we're going to see those. So they're going to look like this. And actually, yeah, I can just draw these lines here. And that's what the top should look like. Um, if I were to label the top surfaces, so we have A, B, C, D, E. Let's say this is F. Here's F. You see the F, G, G, G. Let's say this is H and H. Okay, there you go. There you have it. That is problem 1-1D. One um, check your work. Make sure that your edges are aligned. So if you line up a ruler, everything's lined up with the bottoms, the sides, and the height is the same, the length is the same, the depths are the same, and so on.